Hello YouTube, I'm back and yes, I'm still alive and wearing my adorable bear pajama. So yeah, what, what kept me from updating for the past month is this I have this massive paper to turn in and I just turned in today. So um, pretty quickly, I'm, I'm going to be back on my old pace and, you know, regularly update videos. Um, the paper, I mean, I, I don't I don't know what to say about the paper. Um, I, I don't think I did my best. I mean, I somehow felt that I intentionally wanted to screw up, but I mean, it's just, it's over now, so I just try not to think about it. But I mean, it's definitely not my best work. And I just have very mixed feelings about this. And I have, for the past month, I have so many, so many topics piling up and I just can't wait to just unleash them into a million videos. You know, there has there's always something that I um, want to talk about. Um, I mean, if you watch my older videos, you know I'm very, very obsessed with um, Chinese history and literature in general. And, you know, I really want to do a video that talks about um, LGBT culture, well, queer culture in general um, um, in nation China and as well as um, prominent uh, female figures in nation China and it's just uh. and ever since I started this vlog um, people have been asking me if I ever um, regretted choosing science as my major I mean I, I did I, I actually did a video to um, answer that question specifically but I mean the question keeps coming back again and again as if you know not choosing science as your main career path means somehow I don't like science anymore or I um, I felt like I made a mistake. It's okay. Just just stop right there I mean a lot of you like sports, but very few of you play sports professionally But that doesn't mean you don't like sports or you regret playing football as a child. It's it's just not like it doesn't work that way and um, not being Like not feeling that I'm prepared to become a professional scientist doesn't mean I don't like science anymore Let's put it this way. I still love science, love it to death, and I love the science community, I love scientists, I love science writing. You know, I like a lot of things about science, but it's just, I want to do other things as well, so I, I just not ready to commit um, my life to this particular career, because I want to do a lot of other things simultaneously. I, I know I'm probably asking too much, but that's my choice. And you don't get to question my, my adult choice, because First of all, you're not me, and second, you don't know what's best for me. So just stop asking question, and just stop asking that question. And in other news, my grandma is coming to Hong Kong tomorrow to visit me with my dad, so I'm pretty excited. Um, my dad has come to Hong Kong before, when in the 80s, and bought a bunch of cassettes. We still have those cassettes, and it's loaded with Michael Jackson and Madonna. And I don't remember if my grandma has ever been here. Maybe not, but I mean, I don't. I really don't remember. But I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to um, take her around the city, and I hope she'll enjoy the trip. And also to to compensate um, all the pain I've been through writing this paper. Um, the moment after I turned it in to the office, um, I went to Hong Kong to just load myself with manga and movie tickets. So. I decided to maybe just show off, not really show off, I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have a much more impressive collection than, than myself, but I, I decided to do it anyway. So yeah, this is my manga collection. Um, this is what I have right here. I still have some more at home. Um, I still have a couple more close to you and a lot, lot more Hong Kong comics back at home. This is what I have right now. Uh, starting off from the bottom, I have um, Kinta Shonen Chikenbo. This is the latest story from the um, from the tw uh, 20th anniversary that was last year. And then um, the spin-off, Akechi Shonen Chikenbo. I bought this a long time, but I think back in high school. And then I Show 21. Uh, this is Love My Life. Um, if I have a big enough shelf, I would have every single volume of it um, with me. I think this one's in Japanese. My cousin bought it when he visited Japan. These three in Chinese. And then Blei San Gokushi. This is a Three Kingdom um, alternative universe kind of story. I actually like it a lot, but um, I think it's no more. Um, 
for some reason the, the the story kind of just got cut off in the middle but i really really like this one i think i think i really got the gist of the the history of it and then and then of course you have um close to this is volume 14. i still have a couple more at home with other shinigami on the cover and of course one punch man and they're all in japanese originals um i got this one from my friend selma this one from my friend milena and these two from my cousin when she visited japan last year all from all in the japanese original i bought these three in taiwan all really really neat um three kingdom related as well which i'm pretty obsessed with it and uh Gekan shoujo nozaki kun i bought this one today um these two as well i bought i bought this um I think you should go check this out. It's really lighthearted, easy to read, funny, and the art is really cute. So, no pressure reading this, and it's just hilarious. I love this to death. And of course, uh, Sakamoto Deska. I read this online at first, and it's just stupidly funny. Like, just stupidly hilarious. If you like that kind of stuff, you know, silly and nonsense, uh, this is your thing. And not to mention, this guy looks kind of like William from Close to CG. I'm just, just saying. So yeah, this is my collection, and I'll see you next time.